Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make no bean chili. So, I've already got my brown ground beef going in the pan. So let's chop up an onion. I'm going to use my Power Chef. An onion and a couple cloves of garlic are in here. And then we're going to put that right down in this pan after we get it chopped. And then we're also going to chop our, chop our, well, if I'd put it right in the thing. Okay. Let's dump that in the pot. You won't see that yet. So, get it in the pot. What you want. I didn't have quite a whole bell pepper, so I'm using a couple sauces of plum bavano. Today's a good day. Okay. Make sure you're in the pot. Okay. So we've got a ground beef. We cooked it till there's still a little bit of pink. And then we put our onion or garlic in here. And our bell pepper. That's the only thing that's went in here so far. So. Now let's put our spices. Now down below in the description box written out is going to be the recipe. Cumin, smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, whoops, put a little bit more. salt and pepper. Salt and pepper to taste. Pepper. And then we need a little bit of uh, oregano. I gotta shake this out so it'll come out. And coarse chili powder. You gotta have chili powder if you're gonna do chili. A like a tablespoon of chili powder or two, it depends on how big of a pot you're making. When the recipe's written out, it'll be a full pot. This is gonna be a half a pot. Cause I only have a pound of ground beef and the full pot recipe calls for two pounds. So we, we're blooming all of our spices. Or tomato paste. So when you get a can of tomato paste, I always freeze what's left over. So if it's a big can, so this is one of the small cans of tomato paste. Uh, what was left would be a small can if you got it in the grocery store. Get it all the bag. Okay. Let's get this all mixed in here. Still a bit frozen right there. Blue more tomato paste. It's going to be good. Let's go some Worcestershire sauce. Let's 
some beef broth. And then we're going to open a can of diced tomatoes, too. Put the whole can in there. Um, with its juices, so I need to open that can. I'm going to show this stuff on my way. I just love my Tupperware can opener. Because, you know, normally can opener goes all the way around like that. Ours is different. So, it, you open this little legs. Take that little wheel and your butt. I'm going to butt up against the can. Close this little legs. You pick it up. You got it. Let me go around. Now, normally a regular can opener will make sharp edges. This doesn't. On the lid or can, it's just separating the glue from the lid and can. Take, and then open the legs. Take this little beak. And we're going to get onto the... And it cuts its little legs. And then we'll pull off the top. And then all that goes in. But I love it. Because it's no sharp edges on the lid or the can. Now if you want to do a fire roasted, you can. Um, you could adjust your beef broth. Put more uh, diced tomatoes. Remember, I'm doing a half of the recipe, so the recipe written down below will be for a full pot. Okay? And so, what we're going to do, it's almost done. Um, normally, when a full pot, we're going to simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes on low. So, this half pot, I'm just going to simmer for about 10 minutes. You can put a bay leaf in here. Normally, I do. I'm totally out of bay leaves. So... I'm going to come back with video two so I can show you how we're going to garnish this up.